Okay guys, so welcome back to a new episode. In this one we are looking at the actions of APXT today and of course reflecting on them and also asking is now a good time to buy and honestly what should we be expecting leading up until this merger. So guys, of course I am not a financial advisor, I'm sure you already know that but I do need to say it just to keep you safe and to keep me safe as well. So with that being said, if you think that you will enjoy the video, please do leave a like and subscribe because it would help to grow the channel which is what we are trying to do. So thank you for all the support so far but of course if you could just keep subscribing it would go a mile. With that being said, let's jump straight in and go. So yeah guys, APXT has been moving in a very, very disappointing way today. Again, honestly I talked about this in uh, last night's episode where I said that I can't really see this one going any lower and I still do believe that is the case but honestly today has been fairly depressing enough as it is, especially with that dip towards the end of session. So we can see that currently um, today is actually red again and if we do get a percentage on it we can see we're down by only about 1% but it is still a red day nonetheless. Now guys in my personal position right now I'm looking at it on screen on my phone and I can see we are down about 5% on my position I'm not really too concerned about this one because I am holding this one up until the merger but I think it is overall concerning as to the growth that we are going to see so realistically guys my position is negative and I personally do believe that in my position and um, we are definitely going to turn a profit but when it comes to actually how big of a profit that is I am actually not too sure anymore because we can see this one has been very very flat and disappointing over the past month like I've said before if you'd have invested in this one on only the 8th of January and held up until now you'd be up by about 3.49 percent now that sounds fair enough for an investment when we look at you know stable companies but this is a SPAC guys if we're looking at other SPACs like uh, Churchill Capital or even companies like uh, Paysafe which is soon to be BFT we've seen a lot bigger growth than that in such a short period of time so I think APXT has kind of underperformed now I do actually have some personal reasoning for that in my personal view and I think one of the main factors for this one is the market sector now guys if you have done a little bit of research into this company company like I have, you'll know that the company's fundamentals are great. Revenue figures for this uh, you know, current earnings report, which came out only a few days ago, were very decent. Obviously, the merger is now official with those S4 filings. And on top of that, guys, market sector growth is speculated to imp improve and increase into the future. So if you're looking at this one from a fundamental standpoint, we definitely do have a company which has got all of the great things which could equate to great growth in the stock's price. But obviously, I think what it really is with these SPACs at the minute is a lot of people are looking to other SPACs, mainly around electric vehicles and you know what guys I think the reason for that is because a lot of people are looking for the next Tesla is this a bad thing absolutely not but does it result in spikes like this getting lots of left lots less of attention and I think the answer is yes so obviously this one is down right now and I definitely think that this one is going to make it back up by a little bit pre-merger. I definitely think that at the merger date, we could definitely get to about $20, potentially even more. But obviously, with a lot of attention being on other stocks at the minute, I think it is kind of hindering the price. So when it comes to a point for entry and, of course, whether you should even hold this one anymore, obviously, guys, I am kind of, and I hate to say it, kind of even uh, slightly losing hope. I definitely think that there is some potential to hit about $20. But even then, it doesn't give us a growth target, which we expected. I definitely think that we could make it to about $30 still if we are very very lucky but honestly I think things are so on the fence right now uh, looking at the date on my mobile phone again we can see we are on about the 8th of February so obviously not too long until that merger does go through so we've got to be asking ourselves what is a realistic target for the price so personally guys I am still holding this one and if I was you I would definitely hold this one for a bit more whether you wish to hold it till the merger or wh whether you wish to you know get out as soon as possible I personally do believe in my opinion and like I've said I am not a financial advisor I personally think that it definitely could would make it back up a little bit um, in the next few days and I think this could hopefully bring us back on the growth but honestly guys if we don't go on it soon I am pretty concerned about this stock but overall guys for a company the fundamentals are there and I definitely think there is the, stand uh, the standard uh, potentially that once this one does go through i.e. once a merger is complete and the name change happens and all that kind of good stuff we definitely could see a lot more attraction and attention on this one then as a lot more investors could actually be invested in this one once the name change does happen I mean that does happen sometimes it is pretty rare but i think this could be one of those instances where this one does happen but right now at about 15 dollars i think that this share is extremely undervalued and i would definitely hope they will go up by a lot in the you know the next few weeks i think if it does we still do have time to see big growth on this one long term and short so guys a lot of people have been going in with this one short term and long term my personal opinion on this one is i do see that big potential and um, long term i definitely do think it depends on how much growth we see you know pre-merger where my position will lie so if we don't see too much more growth 
growth guys I will be definitely holding this one for, out for the more long term period and of course if we do see a bit more growth I'd be more than happy to sell this one with a decent profit around the date of the merger but of course guys if you want to see my opinions updated every single day please do leave a like and subscribe because we cover this stock almost every day and it would be appreciated with that being said I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one goodbye until then